Welcome back. Well, I'm afraid this might be the last little video that we make together for a few weeks at least. That's because the schools are going to be on holiday. I'm sure you're all looking forward to your holidays. Teachers are as well, I'm sure. But holidays aren't just good fun. Holidays are important. And you know who said that? It was God. Don't believe me? Well, let me tell you. Do you remember a couple of weeks ago, we were talking about the letter that Pope Francis wrote to everybody, reminding us that we have a job to do, to look after our world, to care for it. And when we talked about that, we read a little bit of the story of how God made the world and everything in it. Well, we got to the sixth day and God made man and woman and he gave the world to us and asked us to look after it. But that's not the end of the story. God made one more thing after he created man and woman. He made holidays. Let me read the next bit of the story to you. We'd got as far as, well, God made the sun and the stars and the moon. God made the world and all the plants and the fish and the birds and the animals. And we got to the point where God made man and woman and said, everything is very good. Let's pick up the story from there and we'll read just a little bit more. The story of creation comes from the book of Genesis and we pick up the story where we left off last time. And God said, let us make man like ourselves. Let him rule over the fish of the sea the birds of the sky, the cattle and the wild beasts and all the living things that crawl upon the ground. And God made man like himself, like God he made him. He made them male and female. And God blessed them and said to them, have children, increase, live all over the earth and conquer it. Rule over the fish of the sea, the birds of the sky and over every living thing that crawls upon the ground. And God said, See, I give you every plant which grows on the earth and every tree which bears fruit with its own kind of seed. It shall be food for you. And to every wild beast and to every bird of the sky and to everything that crawls on the earth and is alive, I give every green herb for food. And it was done. And when God saw everything that he had made, he saw that it was very good, and there was an evening and a morning, making the sixth day. And the heavens and the earth were finished, and all that there was in them. And on the seventh day, when God had finished the work which he had done, he rested from all his work. And God blessed the seventh day, and made it holy. For in it he rested from all the work which he had done. So you see, God made weekends. On the seventh day, God rested. And that's why we have weekends off, still the same. But God just didn't make weekends. God made a pattern, a pattern of work and rest. And that pattern of work and rest is everywhere throughout the universe. There's day and night, daytime when most things are awake and busy and active and nighttime when most things sleep. Some things get it the other way around. Some things are awake at night, like owls. But it's not just day and night. There's the seasons, the summer, when everything is busy and active and growing. And when the winter comes, Everything seems to go dormant, to sleep. Trees lose their leaves. Flowers disappear back into the ground and rest, ready for the spring and the next season of growing. There's school days and weekends. And there's also holidays. 
Holidays are import an important part of that pattern of work and rest that God established right at the very beginning of creation and has always been a way of life for everything from plants and insects to us and the whole universe. So you see, God really did make holidays and not just for fun, because they're important. And so as you prepare to start your holidays, so let us pray. God our Father, we thank you for the gift of holidays, for the time of rest and of relaxation, the time when we renew our strength, the time when we can find most joy. Bless all those with whom we will spend this summer, our families and our friends. Give us the opportunities. Help us find joy and share joy with one another. Wherever we go, whatever we do. Let us find peace, calmness and contentment, happiness. So that when the summer ends and we once again come back to school, we do so refreshed. We do so enthusiastic to start learning once again. We look forward to meeting our teachers and our friends in school, to make new friends, to learn new skills. Give us that enthusiasm always. We ask this through Jesus, your son. Amen. Well, thank you once again for being here with me today. Thank you for the opportunities that you've given to me over the last few weeks for talking to you and for thanking God with you for all the gifts that God gives us. And remember, over the next three weeks during the summer, whatever you do, wherever you go, however you, however you get there, and whoever you meet when you are there, have a wonderful time. And I look forward to seeing you all refreshed once the summer's over. Bye for now. Have a wonderful holiday.